You recently moved some on-prem application to the cloud, like going to Office 365 or G Suite, you might have forgot a vital aspect. Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SC for SonicWall in Canada, helping customer and reseller get the most out of their network security solutions. Before, life was like that. You had servers like Exchange, SharePoint, a file server, an email solution in front of the mail server, antivirus on every single servers, and a firewall to control remote access to those servers. Then, one day, you move it all to Office 365. Problem is, you didn't move all of it. You had a firewall controlling remote access. It's not there anymore. You had an antivirus on all three servers. You don't have it anymore. The email solution you had looking for phishing, spam, and advanced ATP like ransomware, unless you bought the expensive Office 365 package, you don't have it anymore. The cloud is not magic. It's a shared responsibility between the cloud provider and yourself. For instance, taken straight from Dropbox T's and C's, Dropbox replicate files. If you put a virus, we will replicate it to everyone in the account. Viruses is your responsibility. SonicWall Cloud Application Security is here to help you. It works with G Suite, Gmail, Google Drive, works with Office 365, email, OneDrive and SharePoint, Dropbox, and many more. It is extremely quick to deploy as it is an API integration, meaning it does not require you to point MX record to SonicWall. And when I say quick deployment, I mean it. You ready? Let's get a 30-day trial going for Office 365. Go to mysonicwall.com and log in. Then go into product management, free trials, and click try now on cloud application security. Put your domain name and click OK. Choose data center. Then wait five minutes, go get a coffee. Then come back and go to cloud.sonicwall.com. Log in again. Go into cloud application security. Let's get started. Click on start on exchange. Automatic mode is good. Accept T's and C's. Two things to do. First one is the monitoring aspect. You just log in with your Office 365 credential, accept those. Second step, same thing. It's the security aspect of it. Accept all those things. For all your organization, start OneDrive and SharePoint and click next. And you're all set. First thing to do, just confirm that everything is in monitor only mode. Then go into licenses and apply licenses to the top 25 targeted user like finance and HR. Now it is scanning everything. All data at rest in your office, 365, email, OneDrive and SharePoint. That is a great advantage compared to MX record based type of email solution. Well, first they cannot do OneDrive nor SharePoint, but also because we can look at past email and internal email, like you sending something to your colleague. And it is extremely intuitive to use. First you have is malware. If you click on it, you see everything that have been caught by the four sandboxes and the 62 AV engine used by SonicWall. Next is everything about phishing. We have a great example of fake Netflix email coming in. We see why it got flagged. And also we can click on show body of email, which shows what is the actual content of that email, which helps make a decision. Next is Shadow IT, people using Dropbox and any other third party software. Data loss prevention, where we can see people that could have leaked potential information out. Login anomalies, where we see someone here that logged in from Italy and an hour 34 minute logged in from Brassard in Quebec. I also like looking at failed login attempt. See here, we see someone that logged in from Amsterdam, actually failed to log in, and it's the no reply user account. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead and start your free 30 day trial and see what Microsoft or Google missed. And if you want more information, please feel free to reach out to anyone in the team.